What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're going to be talking about the AFL Magic Round that will be happening most probably in 2023 for the first time. A basis that is set on what the NRL has done, having a Magic Round played in one state for a whole round uh, to showcase the sport and the talents of the many teams in the competition. The AFL has pretty much copied this idea for the own competition and uh, it looks set to be joining the calendar for 2023 having a 23 match season for the very first time a lot of effort and uh, work rate and probably thought will have to go into this one to make sure it logistically works as well as the idea itself creating an atmosphere and um, an excitement to build around what uh, will be a magical event going into 2023. So let's talk about the Magic Round and where it could possibly be held in 2023. So the front runner at the moment is South Australia to hold the Magic Round for the AFL in 2023. It was originally thought New South Wales and Sydney in particular were going to host the event, the historical occasion for the first time, 23 matches in a AFL calendar. Now this is most likely to happen next year. There are some doubts around it and how it will possibly work and it could almost be a trial year for how um, even fans would perceive the situation and most uh, most notably, um, obviously, with, with teams and, and how they'll fund the events and, and getting around that. Obviously, we've come out of COVID and uh, a lot of teams will still be struggling financially and, and financially viable with the AFL. So, uh, and, and obviously, logistically for broadcasters, Seven and Fox Footy and all the radio broadcasters as well, It'll be a definite um, a task to broadcast every single game live and free across the nation. So um, something to think about uh, for the AFL. Still plenty of time before the fixture is announced and also how they'll perceive it. Now, uh, Magic Round as well won't be held at the end of the year. It's most likely to be at the beginning of the year. We're talking April, maybe early May, um, with with the AFL taking away a preseason game purely to have this magic round aspect, which I think is a good thing. Preseason games just delay the season and the ine inevitable. So starting the season one week earlier to have this magic round um, is, I think, a very good idea. And um, why not have, play a game of footy that's worth something instead of getting run in the legs? That's what the preseason's for. So um, I think. It's a great idea as a sole aspect. I am actually one of the fans uh, that don't want this to happen. Now, this is purely because I, I don't feel the need for the AFL to do so. I don't understand why um, the concept needs to originate in the AFL. It's, a, it's an RL, NRL thing. Um, and obviously, right across the globe, many sports adopt these types of scenarios. And I feel like with the AFL being such a, a nationwide recognised competition and footy itself being a nationwide sport played in every state i do feel like that overall this it's not needed on a financial basis it's not needed on a on a you know a fan basis i don't think this is overall something that i, I would demand for but i can see the points for it and i can definitely see the points against it i'm sitting more on the points against factors and making sure that um you know 22 games is enough for me We're t there's been constant talks about how we want to shorten seasons and, and play every team once. And I just find that we have all this talk about that scenario and, and injuries and everything like that to then move to a 23-round season with a magic round included in that. Now, I know the AFL talking about removing the sub rule and having a five-player bench with 23 players. I'm actually all for that. I think there's no point for a sub, a mini sub, or anything like that to be used. There should be five people on the bench, and I think it works uh, a lot easier that way. In terms of... Um, who will host it though? And logistically, South Australia are the front runners at the moment, and I think that's probably the the best factor. You got the history of the South Australian Football League and and how footy is developed in in South Australia, and such uh, many legends. You know, you got um, you know you got Mark Williams, you've got uh, Russell Ebert, of course, from Port Adelaide. You've got you know uh, KG and Cornsey and, and all of these players from previous past and the history of clubs, most notably Port Adelaide, Glenelg, North Adelaide, Norwood. And to bring it to South Australia, you know, you've got the option of having a week worth of AFL footy. I think that's what they want to do in particular. They want to have it on a week basis in in Adelaide, now uh, over, you know, maybe a five day period, Thursday to Monday. Um, and you're playing at the Adelaide Oval every single day. I think six games in total will be played at the Adelaide Oval. They're looking at playing some locally, so a sample ground that will be an AFL spec even a, a local league in the hills, perhaps, and maybe even um, at Alberton. That could be an, a factor that I know hosting crowds and it will most notably be played at a place where you know, crowds obviously can come, but 
we know teams won't draw a big crowd. I'm talking like a Gold Coast or a GWS um, you know, at a local ground. So I think you can afford to make that change and you have your big games at the Adelaide Oval every single night. You know, Thursday night game, you have a Friday night game. There will most likely be a showdown probably. I think it is a fantastic idea in that point to have teams travel locally and expand the game. I, I love the idea around it, creating a, a tourism factor for a state. I think it really pumps a lot of money into the into the clubs and, and bringing new fans and, and, and travel expenditures for the government. No wonder there's such a hard push by Peter Malinowskis and, and the South Australian government and the Labor Party because of um, you know, the tourism factor and, and bringing eyes to South Australia and, and, and changing people's minds and making it a travel state. Um, and we've seen that recently, that, that level of travel is building towards coming to Adelaide. And I think that's a fantastic idea. And I love that push as well. I think in solely though, you base it on the game of footy and you base it on the fact that, that you're going to have eyes around South Australia watching games of footy. Fantastic. Different teams um, that you can appeal to um, and, and bring new eyes into the sport. Overall, you're going to have an extra week of footy. You're going to have that extra week of strain on your body from playing a game of footy. I, I, logistically, I don't see the need for it in terms of an AFL player. I can see the negative factors about it. But in saying that, you know, having an extra game of footy is always not going to hurt if you're a fan. So no one's going to win this argument. And I don't want to make it an argument. I think on the pure basis that it's coming to South Australia, I'm very happy about it. And, I'm, and I'll definitely be attending a couple of games to showcase... You know, and look at other teams and, and get to see teams in the flesh that you know I might, might sit down and watch a Richmond Melbourne on a Friday night at the MCG, but now I can you know maybe travel down to the Adelaide Oval and watch that game on a Saturday afternoon. You know, it's it's these types of uh, points of view that um, are definitely going to be something that a lot of fans will be taking in, into consideration when it comes to the AFL Magic Round next year. Does it happen? Probably. Will it happen in South Australia? Most definitely. I'm glad that, um, and I hope that the right plans are in place for this to happen. A lot of work will still go into it. An announcement on this will definitely be made around the fixture time. Um, and I think there's still another month and a bit away. So I wouldn't be too worried about um, what's going to happen or how the announcement's going to happen. Definitely, it'll be a big announcement when it does, and it'll be involve the South Australian government. It'll involve teams. It'll involve the AFL. It's going to be a big announcement, I think. Um, overall magic round in the AFL. For me personally, no, don't feel the need for it. But regardless, going to celebrate it and watch more footy. And if it's in my state, even better. So South Australia looking to have the magic round in 2023. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new for plenty more Port Adelaide and AFL content to come your way across 2023. Still a bit left throughout the year. The draft is to come. A couple of more Port Adelaide content videos to come as well. So thank you very much for watching. My name is Anthony, and as always... Kind of the magic round.